Hello everyone, welcome to this first Talky Pony video. I'm super glad to talk to you today. So this is the first of the YouTube channel as you can see. So I'm gonna introduce what Talky Pony will be and one more quickly. In the Talky Pony video, we're gonna talk about Bug Bunty. It could be through um, write up and other kind of video. So we're gonna talk about web stuff, mobile stuff and more stuff too. <laughs> To introduce myself quickly, I am Pony, or people know me as Pony Fluff too. Uh, I am living in France, so that's why my English can look a little bit bad sometimes. I'm super sorry about that. I'm trying to do my best. I really love uh, security researching in general. I love stuff. I like like web stuff and mobile stuff, especially Android. And yeah, I think this is basically all about me. <laughs> So today we're gonna talk about the last two show, the last monthly one, which is the 36th one and which is talking about the challenge exec. This challenge has been developed by Owen and Bermans and is mainly called in Python. So I will start by showing you uh, the main part of the challenge and we will dig more in the code to understand how to break this challenge. So here in the setting part, we have some very interesting things. So we know that uh, a SQL database is used on SQLite one. So here we have the main table with two different columns. We have a username column and a token column. We have two users insert. I want for the test user and another one for the developer user. For the test one, we don't have any token. This is empty. And for the second one, we have a more complex one. This token is taking the string value admin and is after that aged in shade 166. So in the second insert for the developer user, we have a token which is taking the value of the admin string and we just after that aged in shade 256, sorry. <laughs> so, okay, so we don't know this value. Uh, all the other part is not useful, just for the design of the challenge, etc. So here we have the user input, we have two different sections, we have the token section and the same section. So as you can see in the WAF part, um, our two is input are uh, your hello code and here we have a blacklist. So in the main part of the code, we have directly here um, a condition that verify if we are or not the dev user. If we are the dev user, the value of the CMD will be sanitized with a special function which is called prepot sanitized. And if we are not, like if we are the test user, it will be sanitized with the prod sanitize function. So here we have a mention that say that uh, we don't have access to the internet which is normal, in the dojo we will never have any access to internet and here it say that we should only ping the localhost so we will try to ping the localhost just to see how it's working so here we can see that we are the test user and here we can see our success ping after this condition we have directly uh, the command we saw before, which is super interesting because like, as you can see here, we have a sub process and that means that we have literally the control on a ping command. Just after that, we have our two different sanitize function. So this is the first one if we are a developer user. So if you're a developer user, the user input will be passed into the Slack module of Python. So let's have a look quickly about what is Slack and how it's working. That can be safely used uh, for a shell command line. So this is the case in which we are. So for an example, if we try to use a semicolon after and like uh, a cat flag .txt, our input will be changed with a a uh, single code at the beginning and another one to the end which make literally impossible to escape and to put on another command so it's super interesting because that means that if we are not the dev user we will not be able to to escape and to maybe have a common ejection after that we have the one for the developer user 
which is super interesting because as you can see uh this is a homemade homemade secure function okay we will have a look on this one so um, if if the user input is empty it will be just changed by uh two single code which is not super interesting and after that we have a regex so um, if our input is matching this regex regex sorry um the character will be replaced and will simply be sanitized and escape so we could think that it will not be possible to escape that but it's not let's have a look quickly about how this regex is working so here you can see that all the character like a to z are matched so we will not be able if we want to perform a command injection to uh use a uh, basic one like a semicolon and cat flag.txt it will not be possible so uh, we will have to find another way but we can see that we can use the semicolon we can use the dollar so it could be interesting for the future here we have the execution of uh, sql query and our user input so as you can guess we will have an sql injection but in this case we will be into a like so we will have to perform a like sql injection after that there is a fetch one so the fetch one is basically taking the first result of the sql query and if the first result is matching to something for example dev we will be the user dev like the user variable will be defined with the the value and if nothing is matching we will just be the test user so okay so we will start to perform the sql injection so to perform this sql injection we will have to deal with the like so as we can see into this documentation we can see that there is some special characters that represent some wildcard so for example the person sign represent the zero the one or multiple characters which is super interesting for our case for example in this case we can see that persons uh, a character in a percent will return all the customer that match this letter so as i show you before um the token is etched with shade 256 <laughs> which means that it some hexadecimal and hexadecimal uh, can contain characters from a to f so we will try to match our characters like from like from the our a simply our a okay so now we are successfully the dev user simply because the token of the dev user is obviously containing one or more a so now we are matching the the world card and we are uh, dev as we are now to dev user we will be able to use the special prepared function so as you can see the regex is not super secure and we will be able to bypass it unix shell like bash or just h as the one in which we are actually are taking different kind of value mm, it can take for example octal hexadecimal and more this is very useful for example for non-printable characters some stuff like that so if you want to take that kind of strings you will have to use the symbol person and after that the single code and the string so here you can see that with this with that syntax we can use the an octal value and it will be tackled and after that it will simply be executed by your your shell so to perform this command injection i can use uh, for example cyberchef to convert my string to an octal one so i will try locally just to show you like if i do a cat flag.txt i will have this string and if i do it with the octal value i just have to put the missing single code at the beginning here we are i forgot the single i forgot the backslash obviously i will have the same execution so basically the octal i put between the above single code is decoded and after that is just executed by the shell 
So I will simply perform this on the, cha the challenge. And as you can see, this is not working just because we are into the ping and we have to use a semicolon to, to execute another command. And here we are. So what I show you is the official and the intended salt for this challenge. But I wanted to show you an interesting trick for the command execution. So as I show you before, the regex is literally matching all kind of character between A and Z, etc. Um, but we have some. We but we are allowed to use some interesting character like the Dolo one and like the Christian Remark one. The tricks reside in the fact that if you use the dollar symbol with the zero, it will make a direct reference of the script that is actually in execution. So in our case, this is a bin patch one. In the challenge, this is the bin h one. So for an example, if I go um, a random string into a file, like in a pog doc, for example in the pog.txt file, if I want to cat it without using cat or without matching the regex, I can use these tricks. So for an example, dollar zero will make a different a direct reference to the script in execution. So in our case this is bin bash or in the challenge this is bin ash. And if I put the exact same, same number of uh, character used for my file, for, for example, like pog.txt will make uh, seven char characters, seven uh, remark question characters, sorry. And if I put to enter, I will have the, the answer command not found with the content of my txt file. And this is simply because the shell will try to match any kind of files that contain the each the same uh, number of uh, characters. So in our case, if we put seven uh, remote creation characters, it will just match to the pod.txt. This trick is super interesting and there is so many kind of different tricks like that for command injection. We hope you enjoy. We are gonna make more write up about the dojo. We're gonna try to make a one for each uh, mostly dojo. So if you have any recommendation, feel free to comment, feel free to give your advice and yeah, I wish you a good day. Thank you for watching. See ya!